Hello class, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will discuss one type of optimization problem called linear programming. So many applications in business and economics involve a process called optimization in which we are required to find the minimum cost, the maximum profit, or the minimum use of resources. So a linear programming uh, problem consists of a linear objective function and a system of linear inequalities called constraints. So the objective function gives the quantity that is to be maximized or minimized and the constraints determine the set of feasible solutions. So let's try to solve problem number one. So find the maximum and the minimum value of the function x plus y subject to the following constraints. x minus 2y greater than or equal to negative 5, 4x plus y less than or equal to 7, and 2x plus 5y greater than or equal to negative 1. So ang first step natin is we need to graph muna yung ating constraints. Okay? So, ikagraph natin yan dun sa ating Cartesian plane. So, try muna natin si x minus 2y greater than or equal to negative 5. So, para mag-graph natin to kailangan makuha natin si x and y intercept. Kagaya nung ginagawa natin dun sa ating previous lesson. So, para makuha si x intercept, uh, we let y equal to 0. So, that is x minus 2 times 0 greater than or equal to negative 5. So, makakancel yan. Then, ang ating x-intercept is equal to negative 5. Okay? So, that is negative 5, comma, 0. Next is si y-intercept naman. So, para makuha si y-intercept, we let x equal to 0. Okay? So, that is 0 minus 2y equals negative 5. So, that is negative 2y equals negative 5. So, divide both sides of the equation by negative 2. So, ang y natin is positive 5 over 2. So, siya yung ating y-intercept. Okay? Then, after natin makuha yung ating x and y-intercept, kumukuha rin tayo dyan ng test point. So, Kasi uh, kailangan dito makapag-shade tayo para makita natin yung kanyang half lanes. So para ang ating test point na lang dito is normally, ang ginagamit natin is si origin. Okay? So using the origin, substitute natin siya dun sa ating linear inequalities. So that is 0 times negative 2 times 0 is greater than or equal to negative 5. So, in this case, we have 0 is greater than or equal to negative 5. So, this is true. Okay? So, try natin siyang i-graph dun sa ating Cartesian plane. So, ang ating x-intercept is negative 5. So, nandito yan. Then, ang ating um, y-intercept is 5 over 2 or 2.5. So, somewhere yan dito sa ating between 2 and 3. Okay? Then, since uh, ang symbol natin is greater than or equal, so, ang gagamitin natin is solid line. Okay? So, try natin i-connect yung two points. So, ito siya. Okay? So, itong line na to, ito yung ating graph ng x minus 2y greater than or equal to negative 5. So, since nag-true tayo guys, kay test, ang test point natin is yung origin and nag-true tayo dun. So, meaning to say, yung, yung shaded region ng ating half planes is going to our origin. Ito yun, yung pababa. Ito ngayon yung ating shaded region. Okay? So, after natin mag-graph yung ating first inequality, graph naman natin yung ating pangalawang inequality which is 4x plus y is less than or equal to 7. Okay? 
So, applying the same procedure. So, ganun pa rin. So, to, to get the x-intercept, we let y equal to 0. So, we have 4x plus 0 less than or equal to 7. So, that is 4x less than or equal to 7. Then, divide both sides by 4. So, x is less than or equal to 7 over 4. So, this will be our x-intercept, which is 7 over 4, comma 0. Okay? Then, for the y-intercept naman, so, we let um, x equal to 0. So, ang ating inequality is magiging 4 times 0 plus y less than or equal to 7. So, maka-cancel yan. So, ang ating y-intercept is 7. So, that is 0, 7. Okay? Then, after natin makuha si x and y-intercept, check natin kung siya ba ay true sa ating test point. So, again, normally, ang ginagamit natin test point dito is yung origin, which is 0, 0. So, that is... Um, 4 times 0 plus y, which is 0, is less than or equal to 7. So, that is 0 is less than or equal to 7. So, since 0 is less than or equal to 7, meaning, nag-true yung ating inequality sa ating test point na 0, 0. Okay? So, try natin i-graph ngayon or i-plot ngayon yung ating mga points. So, this time, um, color red naman, uh, green. So, ang ating x-intercept is 7 over 4, comma 0. So, that is somewhere in between of 1 and 2. Okay, kasi ang 7 over 4, that is 1.75. So, dito siya banda. Okay. Anyway, yung graph natin dito is just uh, estimation lang, no? Next, yung ating y-intercept is 0, 7. So, somewhere yan dito sa may taas. Ito yung ating 7. Then, pag kinonect natin yung two points natin, so, ito na siya ngayon. Okay? Then, since nag-true yung ating um, uh, inequality sa, sa origin so meaning yung shade yung half planes ng ating second inequality is going to the origin so ito ngayon yung ating shaded region okay so this graph is our 4x plus y less than or equal to 7 so after natin mag graph yung second inequality dun ay sa pangatlo which is um, 2x plus 5y 2x plus 5y greater than greater than or equal to negative 1 so applying the same procedure so to get the x-intercept uh, we let y equal to 0 okay so that is 2x plus 5 times 0 is equal to negative 1. So, cancel yan. We have 2x equals negative 1. Then, divide both sides by 2. Ang ating x-intercept is negative 1 half, comma 0. Okay? So, to get the y-intercept, we let x equal to 0. So, that is 2 times 0 plus 5y greater than or equal to negative 1. So, cancel. We have 5y greater than or equal to negative 1. Then, divide both sides by 5. So, ang ating y-intercept is equal to 0, negative 1 over 5. Okay? Then, sa ating test point na origin, which is 0, 0. So, substitute natin siya dun sa ating inequality. So, we have 2 times 0 plus 5 times 0 is greater than or equal to negative 1. 
So, 0 greater than or equal to negative 1, this is true. Okay, so again, nag-true tayo sa ating origin. So, try na natin i-graph or i-plot yung ating mga intercepts. So, let's try uh, negative 1 half comma 0. So, nandito yung ating negative 1 half. So, that is equivalent to negative 0 0.5. Then, yung ating y-intercept, which is 0, negative 1 over 5, or negative 0 0.2. So, nandito yan banda sa atin. Yan. Okay? Then, pag kinonect natin yung points na yan, so, ito ngayon yung ating magiging graph ng ating third inequality na 2x plus 5y is greater than or equal to negative 1. Since nag-true yung ating um, inequality sa origin, so ang ating shaded region is going to the origin, is 0, 0, which is nasa may upper part ng ating line. Okay? So after natin mag-graph yung systems, or yung ating three inequalities, ma-identify na natin yung ating feasible solutions. So, as you can see, yung tatlong graph natin is nag-intersect or nag-overlap dito sa may bandang gitna. Ito. Diyan sila nag-overlap lahat. So, meaning, itong red na to, that will be our feasible solution. Okay? So, in our previous topic, ang tawag natin dyan is yung region of solutions. Okay? So, naintindihan ba guys? So, feasible solutions will satisfy our constraints. So, now we can find the maximum and the minimum value ng ating objective function. So, para magawa natin yun is kukunin natin yung mga critical points ng ating feasible solutions. So, yung critical points dito, guys, is yung kanyang vertices. Okay? So, as you can see, we have three vertices. Yung una nandito sa may bandang taas. So, sabihin natin ito yung ating point A. Then, yung second vertex natin nandito sa may bandang baba. Si point B. Then, yung third vertex natin is nandito naman sa may left side. Ito yung ating point C. So, kukunin natin yung mga points ng ating vertices so, or yung coordinates ng ating mga vertices so as you can see si A is nasa coordinate na 1 and 3 okay ito yung ating 1 sa may x axis then yung 3 is yung nasa ating y axis then si B naman as you can see si B is makikita doon sa ating um, 2 and negative 1. Okay? Then, yung ating point C is nasa negative 3 and 1. Okay? So, minsan, if ever na hindi kayo sure doon sa ating mga point of intersection, since hindi naman ganun ka-accurate yung ating graph, so, pwede nyo i-apply yung ating previous topic. ba Yung elimination method. Para makuha yung mga point of intersection between the, yung two lines natin. Okay? So, since na-identify na natin yung ating mga vertices, yung point A, B, C, we can now find the maximum and the minimum value ng ating objective function. So, we have three points dun sa taas. So, si point A natin is um, 1, comma 3. Then, yung ating point B is si um, 2, negative 1. Then, point C natin is si negative 3, 1. Okay? So, using the objective function, ang ating objective function sa taas is yung ating x plus y. Okay? So, ang gagawin nyo lang dito, guys, is isa-substitute natin yung ating point doon sa ating objective function. Then, may makukuha tayong value. Okay? So, try natin ilagay si 1, 3 doon sa ating function. So, magiging 
Yung function natin dito magiging 1 plus 3. So, that is equivalent to 4. Then, si 2 negative 1, that is 2 plus negative 1. So, this is positive 1. Then, si C natin, negative 3, 1. So, magiging negative 3 plus y, which is 1. So, that is negative 2. Okay? So, you can see, ang ating maximum value is equal to positive 4 at point, saan point natin nakuha yung ating maximum value kay point 1, 3 or kay point A. Okay? Then, ang ating minimum value is, is equivalent to negative 2 at point negative 3, 1. Okay? So, this will be now our final answer. Okay? So, this is the end of our video. I hope may natutunan kayo. If you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!